In my last video, I showed you how to import a picture into vCarve Pro. Today, I'm going to show you how to design and edit from scratch. One beneficial tool of vCarve Pro is the Measure tool. This is located under the Edit Objects field on the toolbar. It's an excellent way of precisely measuring and also gives you an exact angle. While vCarve does a great job at importing pictures and converting them to vectors, sometimes you may prefer to just design it yourself. I thought it might be fun to make my own custom Christmas tree ornaments. I choose the Draw Circle tool and eyeball a good size. If you want to be precise, you can use the Radius in Inches section and put in your dimensions. Next, I grab the Draw Line tool and box out a top on this ornament. Once I have a look I desire, I click the Transform Mode tool to allow me to move the work around as well as resize it. We notice here that the lines didn't fully connect, leaving what's called an open vector. To fix this, I click the Node Editing tool and edit the line and pull it down to connect to the circle. Here, I show you can use the Interactive Trim tool to snip off the excess and have it snap back to join as one line. To help you better understand how to troubleshoot open vectors, we can see this box doesn't make connection to the circle. If I tried to build this file right now, it would complain it can't until all open vectors are fixed. The software does help us by highlighting the area with the open vector so we know where to start looking. To search for an open vector, I choose the Transform Mode mouse pointer, right-click anywhere on the screen and choose Selection, and then choose Select All Open Vectors. You will notice the program did locate the problem area that we saw that wasn't touching. I have shown you the best method with the Edit Node tool that allows you to drag the line longer to fix it. But vCarve also offers some automatic tools with just a click of a button I want to show you today. They don't always work, but sometimes the open vector is hard to find and these buttons can come in very handy. The first one is the Join tool. If your tolerance is set too low in the settings, raise the number in inches up and it should locate and close the gap for you. Next to the Join button, you have three other options that do similar things. First is the Join with a straight line, then Join with a curved line, followed by Join by moving endpoints to a common point. You will notice the Joining with a straight line attempted to make a box rather than connect to the curved line. So I quickly fix this by clicking the Edit Node tool and stretching the line and snipping it off. I did run into a snafu with this line I was trying to make connect. Being vCarve can throw some curveballs with open vectors and trying to close lines, I wanted to leave this portion in the video. My goal in this video is to show you how to get past the most stubborn things in vCarve, and that's typically when lines don't automatically close. While I'm highlighting a sore spot in vCarve, it's really the only downside I've seen from this program. Once you're able to tackle these tricks I'm showing you, you'll soon be able to become a master at locating and fixing these vectors in seconds. With the ornament appearing to have all the vectors closed, I verified this by right-clicking, choosing Selection, and clicking Select All Open Vectors. And we're good. Here, I'm building a hole in the top of this ornament to accept a hook for hanging on the tree. I have this part fast-forwarded as I've already shown you many of these techniques, and I'm wanting to get skipped ahead here so we can show you something new. The Draw Text tool under the T icon has a large selection of fonts to choose from. My dog's name is Hiccup, so I only see fit we put his name on this ornament. Being I'm using a 1 8 inch in mill bit to cut out everything shown, this type of bit isn't the best for cutting out small fonts. You'll see later in this video that the preview of this font doesn't come out great, which makes sense. A v-carve bit or a finer bit would be a great choice for doing very small text. I foresee comments stating a ball with words on it was way too easy for a vCarve video. So let's up my non-artistic skills with a Christmas tree. My goal is to make it look symmetrical and you can do that by copying and pasting what you've already created. With the image selected, grab the center dot and push it in the opposite direction. I then match those pieces together and clean up anything that's not exact with the scissors. For a final touch and a little decoration, I add some random circles to this Christmas tree. And there you have it. Two custom designed Christmas ornaments you've created in vCarve. To cut these out, select all the images on the page. Choose the Profile Toolpath option. 
select your cut depth, and select your bit type. I'm using a 1 8 inch in mill bit, and I set a feed rate and plunge rate to 15 inches a minute. You of course can speed this up, but it's a good starting point to try out. I'm leaving it set to cut on the outside path of the line. Next, you want to set tabs if you're cutting all the way through your project to keep it from hopping around and running into the bit after it gets cut free. Small holes like the ones in this Christmas tree wouldn't need tabs as there's really nothing left after the CNC makes a hole. Once done, go to the bottom and name your profile and click Calculate. In this example, I have everything selected and everything will be cut exactly as I set it in the settings. You'll notice everything looks good but the word hiccup. Being the bit was a little large for the tiny text I tried to squeeze into this ornament. This preview option does a great job of seeing exactly what you're going to get before you make your first cut. I remove the text by highlighting it and then hitting the delete key. Once done, I go ahead and recalculate the profile. I accept both messages, then I reset the preview and check it again. This time, Everything looks great, and it's now ready for the CNC. Hopefully, this video has provided you some help in getting started with VCarve and helped you learn some of the common tools and how to fix open vectors. What I've shown you today is the size of a speck of dust in comparison to all the things VCarve can do, but it's a great place to start. Silicon, Anna!